May the peace of God and the wonderful favor of his presence be available and abundant in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to read Job chapter 20, verse 5 to 7. Job 20, 5 to 7. That the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. Though his haughtiness mounts up to the heavens, and his head reaches to the clouds, yet he will perish forever like his own refuse. Those who have seen him will say, Where is he? Praise the Lord. There is an end to that wicked man. He's killing everybody, he's riding roughshod, he's on top of every situation. It's like nothing can bring him down. There is an end. He seems to triumph. That is why the scripture says, don't be envious of the wicked man when he seems to prosper, when things look like they are so good for him. But see, unfortunately, today, we live in a world that we worship riches, worship wealth. And even if the owner of that world is the most wicked person, we don't mind. Even the church does not mind. Let the most wicked in the land show up in church to give a large donation. Will the church say no? They will clap for him. They will sing songs extolling him or her. But remember that every proceed of wickedness brings disaster. Cut away from the wicked man. His end is near. As a matter of fact, his end has already been predetermined. And that is where we are involved in. Don't line up on the track of wickedness because you have a predetermined end, disastrous end. You end up in hellfire. There's no doubt about that one. But even in this world, the kind of things that will happen... There are those that are so wealthy, but no good comes out of their children because of what they had sown into their lives, the proceeds of wickedness. The family degenerates after him or her because of the proceeds of wickedness. Wickedness has its retribution. Just as goodness has its wonderful reward, if you are living a wicked life, results will come. Rewards will come, call it rewards, but better retribution. You get it back. Walk away from wickedness. Don't associate with that wicked person. Don't look up to the wicked and see that one as a role model or someone to get some favors from. What favor are you getting? What favor are you getting? Blood money? Blood favor? The wicked man has nothing good for your life. Don't seek for whatever he thinks he has or she has. It is time to move away from the path of the wicked. Move on to the glory of God. And how? That means reject that thing. Reject that company. It says, come out of among them and be separate. And I will take you up. I'll be a father to you and you'll be my own sons and daughters. Are you willing to separate yourself from that person? Because the issue today is twofold. To the person who is wicked, turn around. There is disaster ahead of you. But what about the fellow who says, I'm a Christian? Come out from there. Be separate. Don't continue to do business with the wicked man. The capital for your business, 90% comes from him and is an arm robber. Is a cheat, is a fraud. Is someone who's receiving bribes left and right. And that's the money that you think you are going to live by and call yourself a child of God. And okay, you go to pay tight and you expect that God does money laundering. When you pay tight, God purifies the money, the one that has someone's blood on it. The money that is taken, which should have built a hospital. And because of that, the women that would have given birth there, they all die in childbirth. Where are the tears going to? Or we don't even think about it. The money that should have repaired a particular road is not repaired because somebody has used it to build a mansion for himself, to send his children to the best schools. 
and somebody falls into a pothole on that road and dies or has a disastrous accident that destroys his future, where are the tears going to? So when you associate in that community, wouldn't the tears find you out? Come out of them, be separate. Live your life unto God. Avoid wickedness. Avoid the wicked person. You wicked person, turn around today. It might be too late tomorrow. And if it is too late, it is too late forever. There is disaster ahead for wickedness. But there is joy and glory for righteousness. Live the righteous life. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. Thank you for today. Thank you for such a heart you give to us that we can live righteously. And Lord, everyone that wants to turn around today, give them the heart of flesh that they will obey you. In Jesus' name, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.